Okay, I'm gonna hit this first with a 1200 mesh on my wood wheel. I think that I'm gonna start making it a habit to show these wood wheels more. Most people I tell that the best thing they can do is use a wood wheel for their, their finishing. They think I'm nuts, so the more videos I have on the YouTube channel showing for it back and it works pretty darn good. Um, the more I can convince them. Okay, I'm just gonna hit this with 1200. It, you notice the bead spins really nice, it's spinning freely. You don't need a whole lot of speed. Get the, Spinning. I'll do it halfway and then show you. I think the last time I made a beat out of this stuff, I just left it at 1200 because it looked really cool. It's, there's a, there is a difference, it's not super apparent, I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not, it's, it's, it's smoother on this side, you can even tell by rubbing your thumb on it. i just go ahead and do the other side, you saw how long that took, almost instant, so I'll do the other side. Depending on the angle that you hold this, if I turn it more this way, you see how it's set up? And then if you change the angle, you can almost stop it toward the back of the wheel. And then as you come back around the face, you start pulling the, the pin by toward you. Okay, I now have it documented because we've got it on video. You know, that probably took two minutes. You know, as long as you have your stuff prepped right, you, the wood in diamond just works wonders for stuff. You know, it's kind of hard for me to get this to where that, that camera will show how nice this is. I did get some weird black from my spinner, so I'm going to go ahead and take that off. Usually I use a jet spinner and that time I was using metal, so it kind of abraded the metal and that's what did the black. That's a pretty cool bead, I must say. Not that I'm patting myself on the back, I'm patting this piece of rock on the back. Anywho, it's, you know, you make any kind of ball bead you want doing the techniques I just showed. 
I, I did it with the core drill to start out with. I'd highly recommend that if you decide to do the core drill technique, which is what I would continue to do, if you get it pre-hand on a grind, you will get it close to being a, a sphere before you go on to the core drill, because it, it just took far too long with straight core drill. Anyway, there's your perfect ball bead. What can I say? Cut. <laughs>